Hi Capricorn. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel, Merging Timelines. I'm Melanie and today we're going to do your weekly spread. This reading is intended for Monday through Friday. It's going to be the 4th through the 8th of March. We're in Pisces season and as you know, Pisces season is all about those dreams and nightmares. <laughs> that just came to my head. Dreams and nightmares. And I thought about Meek Mill's song, Dreams and Nightmares. Wonder what that's going to have to do with this reading for my hardworking Capricorns. Don't work too hard this month, you guys. These are intended for my sun and moon signs. And they will always be for sun and moon. So in case anyone was wondering, I read for sun and moon. And this is for Capricorn. Thank you so much for checking out the YouTube channel, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. It means the world to me. It means the world to me. Oh, here we go. Wow. We've been putting work into becoming one with the nature. Oneness is my true nature. So coming back to ourselves, are we Capricorn? Are we trying to align ourselves with our true nature within? Something about oneness is coming, coming back to seeing everyone as one or seeing how much everyone around you could be so much alike in a way. Maybe not as hard working. I hear that, Capricorn. Maybe not as hard working as you. <laughs> this reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon. It's just a weekly spread, so my intention is to try and get these readings less than 10 minutes so that we're not talking all day and you don't have to watch my channel for hours. <laughs> I know. You've got other things to do. You're hard working. You don't want to hear me chat for hours, and I respect that. So let's make it quick and to the point, you say. <laughs> All right, Capricorn. So this is for my sun and moon signs. Just a weekly spread. And we're focused on oneness. My Capricorns are focusing on seeing everyone around them as one. Working together as a team, are we? You know, are you probably the leader to this project at work that makes everyone more alike than they are different or yeah that focuses on the light within everyone's are you trying to get everyone to see their own true nature within trying to bring out their own best qualities my capricorn i don't know why but i always think about hard work when i think about you guys because that's what you're all about <sighs> I feel like you're being closed off to something in your environment though something that is affecting your environment you're just choosing not to see it at this moment two of wands someone or something at a distance but yet your heart is reevaluating it within you got the the swords here the seven of swords and it's focused on a page of an apology or a new beginning that you're not really focused on at the moment you're not really trying to start here or it's been brought to your attention in the past but i don't see you putting any effort into that new beginning yet i don't see you starting it i don't see you really focused on it because you're being closed off your environment is focused on the fact that you don't see it anymore you don't feel it anymore but do you you know there's someone in your environment I mean, someone in your present energy that is needing to step into their power if this is not you, Capricorn. Or if you are the Capricorn, then it is you needing to step into your power, needing to come out of feeling insecure about something that you're closed off towards, a new project that you wanted to start. Or if you are dealing with the fire sign, then this person is needing to step into their power and embody their own potential so that they could be seen and respected for who they are, for their creative mind, for their creativity. I don't know, Capricorn. 
So let's say if you're the woman watching the video, let's say you, as the Capricorn woman, needs to be willing to step into this new beginning that has been presented to you. Yeah, you need to step into this new beginning that has been presented to you. It's a very, very, very beginning stage. But at the moment, because of something in your environment, you're quite closed off towards it. And I can't quite figure out why. I can't figure out why you're closed off, but you're still reevaluating it within. Mm. You have the... Maybe you're just being closed off because you don't feel empowered enough to manifest this. Your advice is something that you're not even working towards. Let's talk about if you're the man. I'm going to pull one more for the advice card, okay? But for right now, let's talk about if you're the man and you're dealing with this woman who you're closed off towards because she needs to step into her power. She needs to embody this, um, this woman who demands attention as soon as she walks in. She's very secure in who she is and her ability to create whatever it is that she wants to create. Um, the future brings judgment reversed. So something that you laid to rest is going to be presented to you again. What is that Capricorn? You've been reevaluating it within. You know what this is. You know that whatever it is that you once got away from, you're looking back within on this subject, this matter, whether it's a person or a financial, financial aspect of life. You decide, you know. Um, it is something that you're definitely closed off to and the moment that you embody this oneness mentality and allowing yourself to be one with nature and one with everything around you you see yourself differently you see the the whole equation differently capricorn instead of being in such a worker bee mode you know but i do see that it's something that you're a little scattered about with the Eight of Wands, you're kind of stuck on this passionate desire. And maybe you don't know how to go about it. Maybe you don't know how to accept it. Maybe you don't know how to forgive someone. Or forgive yourself. There's a lot of disappointment. That's what fell out the Ten of Cups with the Eight of Wands. So very something that you're very emotionally disappointed about. I feel like you don't know what direction to go in when it comes to rethinking the past apology that wasn't accepted or the past do-over that you rejected, possibly with an, a fire sign female, if you're the male watching. And you know in the future it's going to bring back this situation, something is going to bring it back up for you, even though you laid it to rest. And it comes from within because our truth comes from within. And you're reevaluating it in your heart space. I don't know what this is, Capricorn, but uh, you guys let me know in the comments. How does this resonate with you? What is this? Is it a project that you laid to rest in the past that is coming back to you? Or is it a, um, a person in general, you know, that you're trying to ignore your feelings for by just ignoring, choosing not to see it. I don't know. Anyways, Capricorn, thank you so much for watching the video. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will be posting weeklies this month. And stay tuned. Love you. Bye.